Hello everybody and welcome back to the Invincible, yes! Uh, a longer hiatus of um, non-video recordings uh, due to illness over New Year. Still something going around, still a bit buggy but not as bad uh, as I have been. So, very 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 excited to get back into uh, this game and see where it leads. Uh, I've got me, uh, I've got me special uh, remedy here. This is a thousand milligrams of vitamin C in the Twitch London 2019 Cup, um, which I really hope they get back to doing again. So, on that, let's go. Yasna doesn't find Doctor Gorski in his last known position. To continue the search, she enters an area with limited radio coverage. That's right, we started to go into these sort of metallic bushes or whatever they were. And there's something strange on this planet that's affecting all of the crew members so far. And maybe Yasna a little bit as well. Uh, good singing voice, um, as seen is the, in the first part of Invincible. Okay, so this is just a recap now. What is this? Ah. Oh. Astrogator. Oh, 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 there we go. I've I'm in. found a peculiar inorganic structure. It looks like some oh. spiky metal growths. Artificial plants? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? Oh, I've never seen anything like this. Mm. I wish I had time to run some tests. When the situation is stabilized, we will take samples. I promise. Now, is this where we left off before? I think so. Oh god, what was journal? That was it. Uh, <clears throat> so, where is Gorski? Can I... No, I can't do that. Okay. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah, this is where we started uh, hallucinating a bit. There's something resonating off oh, these plants. It's nauseous. Mm. Suddenly. Been on the surface just under half an hour. That's not it. I, can't I move. feel darkness. Oh, uh, yes. I forgot this was automatic. Oh, no, it isn't. <sighs> Come on, Yesna. No. Nope. Ah! <laughs> Fortunately, the docks is not in this game. We've got another bit of a uh, comic strip to read as well. Right. Oh, I hope. Ah, yes. Right, so we've just come through this bit there. There's our ball E. Great name. Just... Come on, ball E. Let's see what we've got now. Remembering that we've got stamina here. What was that? Are you there? Over. <sighs> I guess that's a no. I have to say as well, the graphics are amazing <clears throat> in this game. Very, very glad I picked it up. It's got uh, attention to detail on the visor as well. You can see all the reflections. You can see the dust or scratches or marks on the visor. Oh. Breathe. What's going on, sir? Astrogator. Hello. I tried to resuscitate him, but... No, please. Ah. Koval? Dr. Krautner. How? There was nothing wrong with him. Hypervolemic shock. He bled out during the flight. What? I still don't understand. How? He wasn't hurt. His injuries must have occurred later. I found him like this when I entered Hopper. Hmm. Ah, oh, now Artie is the automatic robot. Now, I'm not saying it's my fault. We don't re we don't really know whether it's his fault or not, but he how um, hmm. Doctor Kraut is in a stupor, mumbling onto himself, and he would. He just suddenly bleeds out in the hopper. I'm going to challenge him. 
But you said I didn't have to worry. Uh, I did. It was on my orders that you left a camp and then didn't come back for the doctor. I'm aware that I am fully responsible for his death. Okay. Good. Because it's not my fault at all. Right. Uh, hang on. I guess I know where Gorska was going. Right, I need to get over there. This way, perhaps? I confirm. Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Mm. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. Oh. <sighs> but why hasn't he yet? Am I supposed to get up there? Maybe not. Uh, God. Do I use this? Appears so. I'm going down after him. Hmm. Tell me one thing, sir. What did you do with Crowter's body? I placed him in a quiet chamber. Hmm. Are you going to use a grave tapper? Yes. I'm considering that as a possibility. What is your opinion? Should we look into their heads? The more we learn. The better chance we have to help Cobble. Yeah. Let's use a tapper. Oh. So that's, 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 that's interesting. One sec. Oh, good shadow. How about the end of the rope? Ah. Isn't that good? Not at all. <laughs> nope. What do you mean? Um. I'm stuck. Mm -mm. I'm hanging with all my weight on the rope, away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. Mm. Can you go back? Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight? Uh -uh. No, not a chance. What if you sway? What are I? What now? Um. I, I can just jump off. Safe? Probably not. Um, is there another idea? A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. Mm. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that yet, sir. He could keep going even with injuries. Um, you don't want to write, and then you're gonna hang on. Do you have another idea? Uh, all right, so do you have another idea? Oh, will I be hanging like this until the end of time itself? <laughs> there is a certain possibility, yes, uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. Yeah, okay. I'm listening. Can you see the probe? Where are you? There it is. Yes, it's flying near me. If I instructed it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. Are you sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. Right. It's riskier than jumping. Um, let's go for it. All right. Let's <laughs> give it a try. I'm entering the instruction. You must guide me. Okay. Oh shit. Um let's go with that. Two meters forward. Oh that's oh Stop, that... that's enough. Yep. You that's... have a really good eye. Exactly two meters. Hey, cool. <laughs> <sighs> oh god. Oh uh, Oh you could say so. Sorry. <laughs> I fell from a lower height. It was a soft landing, though. <clears throat> the t ah, hi. How's it going? Sorry. <laughs> you hit your head as well, didn't you? Anyway, structure. Astrogator Novik decides to send Dr. Yasna to the planet's surface in order to find the crew. <clears throat> While looking for companions... <clears throat> Excuse me. Yasna comes across metal bushes. 
Metal pushy. Uh, not that sort of metal. Uh, and she's suddenly paralysed by a terrible headache. Dazed, she stumbles and falls off a cliff. The lander returns to the Dragonfly with Artie and secured crew members on board. Despite being transported to the lander by Artie, Crowter passes away. Fortunately, shortly after Yasna had left the camp, he had a tragic accident. It took too long for the robot to reactivate before it could take care of the Doctor. Yasna talks to Novig about, future, about the future of cybernetics. She appreciates the development of autonomous systems, but she also notices its flaws and limitations. According to her, robots are simply tools in the hands of humans. For now, just wait till it's the other way around. Yasna doesn't find Dr. Gorsi in his last known position. To continue the search, she enters an area with limited radio coverage. Yasna recalls that she saw similar metal bushes before at the very beginning of the mission, just before the accident and her memory loss. Yasna finds Gorski's rope. She slides down it, but gets stuck a few meters above the ground. Having no better choice, she follows Novik's advice and descends on the probe. Uh, we've got a choice here, have we? We've got left or right. Uh, uh, doesn't look as if it's going to go anywhere to me. Okay, he's but our last contact with Regis a few minutes after noon. Ooh. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. He didn't take a tent. Mm. Anyway, what's the idea of doing it alone? I hope he has a good reason. Damn. What is this place? It makes my skin crawl. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Yeah. Maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like... A city. Are you saying that... No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. Sir, he kept going, despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place... Gorski may have lost himself in his discovery. Are you joking, Doctor? Lost himself? Gorski? He may not have respect for the unknown, but he has his feet firmly on the ground. I think he must have discovered something. And since he suffers from excessive ambition, <laughs> he's capable of stupid acts in the name of a breakthrough. Well, I admit, that sounds more like him. You must trace his steps, Doctor. I'm working on it. Right. Are you receiving a signal? What signal? From Dr. Gorski. No, no. Why are you asking? He tried to open up a connection, set up a transmitter. There's nothing on the comms, but I'll check the record history. Please give me wow. a moment. It's almost like honeycomb system. Giant bees live on this planet. The height of the entire complex oh. is over 100 meters, even 150. And all made of this metal? To a significant degree. Hmm. If something were to live here... Yes? It would have to be very small, like insects. On the other hand, there's no floor around to support such organisms. Oh, it's the probe. <laughs> I wonder what that was. Okay. Ah, right. So the flag has been marked. Why didn't she mark the uh, transmitter? There's a clearance there. Blocked way <sighs> and a gap. Left mm. or right? Um, 
When in doubt, head left. Okay, so we can't go this way. Can we? I can't even okay. see the bottom. The structures go that deep. Yes. I dread to think. Bridge. What if Dr. Gorski fell down there? I took that into account when calibrating the probe. It will examine the bottom. I'll let you know if... if I find him. Hmm. Okay. There's a bridge there. Okay, I, I can only look at the bridge. That's fine. It's not going to give me anything else. All right. I'll squeeze <coughs> through the passage. Huh? That's all Golski has left of oxygen, at best. Oh, we better find him then. And at worst? He's just finishing it up. Oh, Though it all depends on his activity. Um, you can breathe the atmosphere, shouldn't breathe the atmosphere. Can't go any faster. Hmm. Can he though? If I remember correctly, the atmosphere here is breathable. Ah. Basically, yes. Dr. Krauser, however, warned that the methane content... I know, I know. But the effects won't be immediate. That gives us a few extra hours. Mm. See, methane on Earth is caused by, well, let's say cows, for example. How's the terrain? Ooh, never mind. Those structures, so I'm sure are they be fine. still everywhere? Yep, wherever oh. I look, there's metal. No problem with that. These constructions don't have a clear division into functions. They're huge, complicated, and uniform at the same time. Do you have any idea where all this could have come from? I'm aware without tests you can't do much. But let's say on first inspection. Does it grow by itself? Yeah, we don't know. We can't say people. Well, maybe... <laughs> it depends what composites the metal, you know, uh, uh, is made of. Hmm. Do we know if it grows by itself? The metal bushes grow by themselves. But is it, you know, is this made from the same material? What are you saying? This if is more logical. Metamorphism and other natural factors are to be excluded. There is only one conclusion. Someone or something must have put them here. The alliance. You don't... Oh. oh, I do. I suspect the surface of Regis Three was once inhabited. Hmm. Oh, I've already been there. You what? Ah, Bully. I see the probe. The name. <clears throat> oh, hey up. Uh, has it found anything? Has it found anything? It's not making any measurements at the moment. Oh, why? The overload protection is activated. Until I do a reset, it's on manual control. Mm. Oh, is it because of my flight? It's possible, but please don't worry about it. What matters is that you're fine. Hmm, a lot of protection. Wouldn't it be better if I helped you? I can close it manually, after all. I'd need some directions first. I'd to bring it to you. No problem, I'm on it. First, let's find a place where I can land it. Otherwise, you won't be able to help me, Doctor. Oh, how about here? There. <laughs> I found the right place. <laughs> Literally where I'm standing. I'm for instructions. Um. Let's see. Um, uh, let's see. You're not facing towards me, so let's go... Ah, uh, that way to the left. Rotate the probe 120 degrees. Okay, now. Okay, it's facing me, okay. Um... Let's go ten, ten meters, meters forward. forward. Oh, it's not as close as I thought it was. Okay. Ah. Uh, um, 
Please. Mm, okay. No, no, sorry, I misjudged. Please pull back. No, 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 don't. Oh. Okay, not too far away. Um, to the left. So, 45 degrees to the left and full steam ahead. Yes. And stop. Stop. Now, rotate 45 degrees to the right. Come on, nearly there. Yes. Uh, two meters forward. Land. <laughs> uh, oh, it's even got little landing struts. That's cool. Oh, no, 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 we're fine. Okay. What am I doing? Oh. Oh. Lid's not shutting. Ah. Do I have to keep a finger on it? Come on. Oh, don't be angry. It's not anger. It's a warning sign. I know, I know. Yeah, but it sounds pissed off. You're welcome, bully. Ooh. Bingo. All right then. Now what? Oh, looks like the path continues this way. Um, are you gonna search, for Gorski? No. Okay. <sighs> ah. Oh. Oh. Hello. Right. There's a flag there and another transmitter. Right. Okay. It, it's a bit like Pando. A colony of populous tremoloids. American aspen. The new trees grow not from seeds, but from root suckers of old trees. As a result, it's one giant organism, thousands of years old. So you're in a dead metal forest. Huh, that does sound bizarre. Though so maybe. Was that dead metal? Or death metal? Uh, yeah, get some more sugar on. Um. Oh. I doubt all of this could have just been constructed on its its own. Someone or something had to start this. Most definitely. Something has been recorded after all, but there are plenty of errors in the transmission header. It's hard to say whether this is a message from Gorski. Could be the storm. Let's hear it. Well then, sir, play it. Maybe we'll finally find out what's going on with the doctor. Uh, Let's hope so. Okay. That's it. 
What follows is just a humming noise. Any thoughts, Doctor? Oh, so far, it all leads to one conclusion. This is not a place for a man. Nor for any humanoids. Then who is it for? Maybe it's really an alien technology. Hmm. Those Lyrans. Uh, as far as I know, all information about the Lyran civilization is just guesswork. Many consider Lyrans to be just a myth, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. Uh, okay. Well, I think there might be something to it. By the way, you were right, Doctor. Gorski did lose himself in his discovery, in spite of everything. Interesting. Damages. I can see the relay up close. Looks broken. Deliberate action. This is starting to look like a deliberate diversion to me. Uh, you may be right. The question is, who's behind all these disruptive activities? You. That I don't know, sir. Probably. Bit of a guess. Abandoned things. Can we pick these up? Right. Now. That way or this way? Oh, I've already started to go this way. So we came from up there, so that's fine. It reminds me, and this is going a bit Star Trek here, it reminds me of a ball cube. Just the way it's sort of latticed. It's uh, sort of structured there. Oh, I'm not going down there. Oh, footsteps. Not ours yet. Oh, I know. Uh, there are more traces. Hand this time, handprints. Ah. And a drop detector. What? Did I hear you right? Mm, yes. Did he fall? No, he must have. steadied himself. That's why there's a handprint. Yes, sir. You heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean we should assume the worst. I still believe you'll find him, Doctor. I hope that connects. Going right into the structure now. Um, yeah, that loops around to that. Yeah. Oh. Now it's here. Okay. So, back to the probe. You're moving. like there is. Okay, now I've lost the probe. There's the probe. Oh, this looks a bit dangerous. Yeah! yeah. Ouch! Yep. Jasta, what is it? I fell. I took a shortcut. Mm. On purpose? Uh, not really. Not necessarily. Oh, boy. Okay, um, oh, I've lost, I've lost my bearings now, hang on, um, this way, or this way, no, can't get that way, okay. Ah, right, so, could I have gone this way? There's a drop here, hmm. probably could have done. But this is the way I want to go. Stamina's kicked in. Well, not enough of it, rather. Glad we've got this probe for uh, company. Definitely, definitely needed. Ooh, tracker. Ooh, two things. Ah, now, is it picked up? Right, one of them's got to be the probe. Finally! I have his position. Uh, not yet. So close. Gorski, are you there? Oh, for crying out loud, Gorski. You must be here somewhere. Say something. Any contact? Just a probe. Negative. Oh. I found his backpack. 
You know what that means, sir? Yes, he's without oxygen. We must hurry. Damn, okay, well this map has been, well, mapped out. Come on. Got to be here. Almost there. It's close. Ah! Oh, there he is. I see him. He's lying in a sinkhole. Grab him. Got him! <coughs> Please be alive. He's not moving. Oh, his visor's is up. Mm, oh. Okay, good sign. Gorski! Gorski! Look at me! His eyes are closed. Is he breathing? He's alive. But barely. Did he react in any way? Uh, seems to he got stuck. He's at risk of hypoxia. No reaction. By my count, it's that stupor again. Mm. Just like the others. Gorski! Come on! He's not mumbling, Calm though. Down, Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a landing site. Oh, amazing. Okay. <sighs> Okay. Come on, Gorski. Let me just... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm putting him... Uh, out. Uh, okay. Done. Any other damages? He's out. I activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well... No, nothing. The transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? Uh, no point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway so that Hopper can land in this maze. Hmm. Have a preliminary scan of your surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The boat will guide you. Oxygen. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with him, Astrogator. You'd need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. In that case, I'll give him my tank. Negative. I won't allow it, yes. If you're afraid, the doctor won't carry you. I'm doing it anyway. He's gonna have something. The membrane looks intact. What did you say? Um. I didn't hear. Hold on, Gorski. I still can't get done. Please repeat. Don't be angry, sir. But. But what? Please go ahead. After. Con after careful consideration, I gave Gorski my tank. We still don't know when you'll send the lander, so I, I can't leave him without oxygen. Shit. Doctor, I explicitly told you not to. Never mind. <laughs> Let's hope Ark can finish the job if you're both unconscious. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this might be the wrong thing to do, but... <laughs> save a life. You've got to give something back. Comics updated. Right. Okay, new bit, the city. Okay, Yasna encounters unusual metal structures. She refers to them as the city. Earlier descend on the probe led to its damage. Ah. Yasna helps Novik repair the machine. After a laborious search, Yasna finally finds Gorski. However, he's immobilized, <coughs> injured and unconscious. It turns out that his blood saturation is dangerously low. Yasna decides to break procedures and give Gorski her oxygen. She then carries him to an open area so that Novik may send the lander to rescue them. 
Right, okay. So hopefully we can both make it. Oh, we've got this probe here. The probe has no limbs. So it's not going to help us both if we uh, run out of oxygen. Are you out in the open already? Oh. Sort of. Yes. Oh. Once you've set up the transmitter, I should start receiving Gorski's signal. Set up the relay, okay. This is where he's telling me. God, look at this. Beautiful um, design work for this game. Slightly less damaged version of one of those traps. Oh. Hey, up. What was that? Um, problem. Everything is shaking. Steady. No, no. Oh god. That's not helpful. Oh, cheers, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I've got the probe. I caught the probe. I'm... Fuck. Where are we going? We. Uh, airborne, sir. Airborne. <laughs> Quite literally. Are we back in? Astrogator, hey, I, I'm underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. Novik, do you copy? That'll be a no. Yasna sets up the relay necessary for the landing procedure. Suddenly, the ground collapses under her. Yasna falls into the very depths of the city. Mm. I think this is where I'm going to leave this episode here. Oh, it's getting good. It's getting good. Don't know where Yasna is now. Um, I'm surprised the probe didn't take her back to the landing area, but maybe there was too much weight and the probe was... Only going to go one way, that's down. Um, but I am definitely enjoying this uh, so far. I hope you're all enjoying this. Uh, let me know in the comments below. And as always, like, subscribe and comment. Um, good news is um, subscriber goals have been surpassed uh, due to uh, two promotions on uh, two videos of mine. as a little experiment and they worked. Um, I don't know if it's going to be counterproductive because the watch hours, they have also hit a thousand, but we need to get three thousand. Um, and hopefully, well, I just need to do more videos. And here's one. So, let me know your thoughts about the game uh, below in the comments. And, uh, let's comment. And, uh, See you in the next video. Thank oh, hang on. No, thank you, past, present, and future watchers uh, for watching. Cheerio.